right, it's a Tuesday evening edition of Weather for Weather Geeks on this seventh day of February 2023. We've had some warm February 7ths in recent years. In fact, some of the warmest February 7ths on record have occurred in the last five or six years. Today was not one of those really warm ones, but still temperatures were very impressive this afternoon. We'll talk about today's numbers momentarily. First, a quick uh, comment or two on the air quality situation. Uh, in the wake of, of course, the uh, uh, train derailment Friday and then the uh, controlled burn on Monday, uh, today the weather did help us out as expected. Uh, we have pretty decent air quality across our region this evening. The uh, atmosphere today behaved as expected in that we had more wind and we didn't have as strong of a temperature inversion aloft. If you've seen the pictures and coverage of that controlled burn yesterday, the smoke plume goes up and then it spreads out as it hits that inversion and that inversion acted like a cap or a lid, preventing things from rising any further. The inversion was weaker today, so that allowed for things to be dispersed a little bit more. Uh, the gusty low-level winds that kicked in also helped to kind of stir the atmosphere up today. We saw a change in the wind direction as expected. Uh, the southeast wind kicked in last evening, and this brought a lot of that kind of pungent smell uh, to the north and west, up into parts of northern Columbiana County, Mahoning County, even up into Trumbull County as well. A lot of people reported uh, pretty foul smells for a time last evening. But today the wind was more out of the south for a while this morning, and then became southwesterly this afternoon. Also notice the uptick in the overall wind speeds during the daylight hours for today. All right, so uh, as far as the rain component of the weather today, wasn't much. A couple of sprinkles earlier on, and as of 7.08 this evening, still have a little bit of light rain, mostly south of 224, down towards Lisbon, East Palestine, down towards East Liverpool as well. I've gotten a lot of questions about how any raindrops would affect air quality across the area. Uh, given the dispersion of a lot of the pollutants and hazardous things in the air today wouldn't be real concerned at all about any of these raindrops causing acid rain or something like that uh, if we had some steadier and even heavier rain earlier on today maybe that's something we'd be concerned about although even then I'm not sure um, because I do think that pretty early today the atmospheric mixing prevented a lot of uh, hazardous things from kind of hanging out in the air for too long today so even if today's rain was a little bit heavier I kind of doubt it would have been all that problematic. All right, problematic today was our forecast because it was kind of a bust. It's kind of bust we don't mind, but we had 50 in the forecast for today uh, as of last night, uh, but it got to 55 this afternoon. 36 is where we should be at this time of the year, and we actually weren't far from that record. The record 59 today set in 2017. Now, we've had a lot of days in the upper 50s, as I mentioned, over the last five, six years. The uh, highest temperature was in 2017, but we've had... I'd have to look, but I think we've had a 58, a 57 uh, on a couple of occasions since late last decade on the seventh day of February. It's been a mild winter locally. Of course, it's been a mild went uh, winter throughout the eastern U.S. As a result, spring is already starting to make its presence known uh, across parts of the south. We're seeing the leaf out or things kind of budding pretty far to the north for only February the 7th. So in a place like Charlotte, Raleigh, uh, Atlanta, Birmingham... Uh, these are places that are starting to see signs of spring. Uh, two weeks, even up to three weeks ahead of the schedule. Would that trend continue to the north? Possibly, but uh, we've still got a lot of winter left in the tank around here. And even though things look very benign over the, la the next 10 days, you know, we still got to get through March. And, you know, things in a, even in a warm spring don't typically kind of start budding and greening up until the second half of March, even in a warm start to spring. So I wouldn't expect uh, you know us to see a lot of signs of spring around here anytime real soon, even though, again, we're going to do kind of late March kind of weather for a lot of the next 10 days. Tomorrow, pretty good day. A mix of sun and clouds for the afternoon. Temperature's not as warm as today, but well up into the 40s. Here comes our rain for Wednesday night into Thursday morning. And then Thursday, the rest of the day, we get into kind of a dry slot. I think this is going to be a windy period, a warm period. In the wake of those showers in the morning, might be a passing shower in the afternoon, maybe even a rumble of thunder, but the bigger story will be the wind and the warm temperatures, then back to kind of ho-hum weather by Thursday night into Friday, but still not that cold. Actually, wouldn't be surprised if we had a rumble of thunder across parts of Ohio on Thursday. Severe weather is unlikely, but a somewhat rare February rumble of thunder will be a possibility with our cold front approaching. There are wind advisories up to our west. I don't think we're going to meet wind advisory criteria 
around here, but this is going to be a blustery afternoon with uh, south to southwest winds uh, gusting to maybe over 30, maybe even close to 40 or so before the afternoon is through. I do think the wind will be stronger out towards Toledo and the I-71 corridor, Mansfield up to Cleveland as well. And so a brief cool down is coming for the start of the weekend, but we've removed any snow chances from Saturday's forecast. I don't think we see a flake of snow around here for probably at least 8, 9, 10 days. The heart of February, snow free. I'm not unhappy about it. There are snow lovers who aren't real happy about the forecast and aren't real happy about how the winter is gone, but that's the way it looks for the next 10 days. Still a lot of question marks about how the end game of winter plays out at the end of February and into March. We'll talk more about that in future editions of Weather for Weather Geeks. In the meantime, thanks for watching tonight. I'll see you back here on the Wednesday.